Hi kids, Pastor Mike here. And Cubby! And Cubby, yay! We're here because it's Awanas! My favorite time of the week! I mine too, Cubby. And so we are gonna What? Go through the motto. Are you guys ready? Can we say it backwards? Can we say it backwards? I guess we can. <laughs> What do you think, Katie? Katie, hi! Should we say it backwards, Katie? Okay, so guys, we're starting over there. Now I want you to say it with us. Here you we go. You understood Katie when she barked? What? You understood her when I she barked? I can understand Katie when she barks. Yep, yeah. okay, over here. Watch for moving equipment. Faith can move mountains. mountains. Then safety gear required. Yet. Well, I'm coming to that. Put on the full armor of God. When are we going to learn about that? No, well, probably in May. How about May? Maybe April. One of those two. What month are we in? We're in March. So wait, um, are we supposed to march this month? Well, Cubby, if you want to march, go ahead and march. Like this? Yep, it looks like they're marching. Okay. But for, stop, because we need to give thanks for the cornerstone, and that's Jesus. Give thanks for Jesus. Is it sunny? It's sunny out there, yeah. Because Thank you, God, for the sun. It's springtime. Notice, building up one another in love. Like this! Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't know if that's building up or not. Okay. Sins are forgiven through Christ. Danger, don't stray from God's path. It's easy. It's easy, but we don't want to do it. That's why we need to study our handbooks. Caution, transformation in progress. And the first one, which is now the last one, we're in a construction zone. We are building upon... That's right. And talking about, that's what today's story deals with Jesus. Remember the last two weeks we've been talking about Ezra and Nehemiah? Esther? No, not Esther. Ezra and Nehemiah. And they helped rebuild the wall in Jerusalem as well as the temple because it had been destroyed. Well, after they rebuilt it, it stood for a while. In fact, it was present when Jesus was born. And so this story is about Jesus. Wake up, Katie. Don't fall asleep. I'm waking you up. Okay, Daddy listen. A story. So eight days after the birth of Jesus. Which was Christmas. Eve, well, right? yeah. We and the baby. Christmas, but we don't actually know when he was born. We don't know exactly. But we don't know the exact date. You are right, Katie. But we celebrate it on December 25th. So eight days after he was born, Jewish families needed to take the baby to be circumcised. And when they did what does that, that mean? well, I'll let parents explain what that means. I chew my parents. Yeah, but Cubby, we'll talk about it later in private. He was named Jesus. That was the name given him by the angel. And so then it was time when parents had to present an offering. A of, sacrifice? No, well, yes, but it was an offering. And if, a, if, a, if a, the child, if the woman's first child is a boy, he needed to be dedicated to the Lord. So they offered uh, the proper sacrifice, which was either a pair of two turtle doves or two young pigeons, okay? Poor pigeons! I know, but that was what their law required. Why? And so Mary and Joseph did that. And do you know where they took Jesus to do that? Where he was born? No. They took him to... Nazareth? No. Jerusalem. To... I was thinking that. The temple. Temple? So when Jesus was eight days old, they took him 
to the temple. Is that the capital of... Uh... Jerusalem is the major city in Israel, yes. <laughs> and so when they took him to the temple, they met a man named Simeon. Now, Simeon, the Bible tells us, was a righteous and devout man. And he was eagerly waiting for the Messiah to come. In fact, the Holy Spirit told him, it revealed to him that he would not die until he had seen the Lord's Messiah. So on that day, the Spirit led Simeon to the temple. So when Mary and Joseph came to present the baby Jesus to the Lord as the Lord law, as the law required, Simeon was there. And he took, took Jesus in his arms and he praised God. Did he lift up the baby to I the don't, sky? No, he just praised God. And that Jesus' parents were so amazed at what was being said. What was said? About, well, this is what Simeon said. Sovereign Lord, now let your servant die in peace. As you have promised, I have seen your salvation. Died in peace? Well, because what? he was gone. He was old man. Okay. Oh. I don't know. It doesn't say. He was just uh, 80? old. And, and he said, he is a light to reveal God to the nations. And he is the glory of your people of Israel. And then Simeon blessed them. And he said to Mary, this child is destined. He is destined. To die? He has been sent no. as a sign from God. Okay? And as a result, Mary and Joseph just sort of kept thinking about that. And they were blessed by that. And then on the very same day, there also in the temple was a woman named Anna, and she was a prophet. She was also very old. Her husband died when they had been married only seven years. And then she lived as a widow to the age of 84. She never left the temple. She stayed there. She stayed there night and day. And you know what? She worshiped God with fasting and prayer. She came along just as Simeon was talking with Mary and Joseph, and she began praising God too. She talked about the child to everyone. She started telling everyone about the child. And when Jesus' parents had fulfilled all of the requirements of the law, they returned home to Nazareth. And that's where Jesus grew up. So Jesus was in the temple at eight days old. I wonder what it would have been like if I was there. Well, I hope that I would have also recognized who Jesus was. I don't know. Simeon and Anna did. But the temple was a special place for Jesus. It was? It was, and I'll tell you more about that. So when? Next now? week? Next wait, week? Wait, 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 wait. What, what, Katie? I got something. You got something? What do you have? Oh, she's laughing. I wonder what it could be. What is it? Oh, it's an apple core. Oh, I think that was, is that Cubby's apple? Yes. Here, let me take it. Here, Cubby. No, she's saving it for you. All okay. right, Cubby, we'll say goodbye. You go finish your apple, okay? Bye, everybody. See you next week.